what is up so about week eight and week nine since i haven't posted it um if y'all recall on week seven i had threes and um i stopped my threes on my squats uh after i did 455 for one rep because i felt i felt the uh twinge in my hamstring from the previous deadlift week so um yeah. week eight i started my squats and i did threes once again <sighs> because i wanted to feel a little heavier weight um, <sighs> but uh, i started off with 425 for three pretty easy 455 for three pretty easy and then i went 500 um coming out the rack 500 felt great um uh felt real solid and uh i went down pretty smooth and uh came up pretty smooth but it was a little bit of a struggle it was, it was slow and i hate saying slow around people because they're thinking about oh you need speed 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 that's not the that's not the thing um but uh it came up it came up slow so that means that um um uh, the power wasn't the power wasn't there okay uh, that that i needed at that point in time plus i felt a few other things but is what it is so going on to bench um i had sixes on bench i started off with 230 for six pretty good 250 for six pretty good and then i went um 270 yeah i went 270 um that didn't go as planned um i hit uh, a decent three um before i actually started that actual uh, bench session I knew I should have started off with 215 instead of 230 so I had to make jumps accordingly and all that good stuff but it is what it is um, I got the workout in I missed my last few reps but that's fine um, now on to uh, deadlifts um, that week I did not get to do deadlifts because for some reason I woke up um, actually it was it was Friday. I woke up Friday morning and um, for some reason it felt like I ripped or tore either a muscle or a ligament in my pinky. And that day went, I mean, during that whole day that pinky got worse and worse. Uh, so needless to say, I did 135, 225 and then I stopped and it, of course it got worse and worse. Um, long story short, <laughs> It got worse the next day, and then I went to sleep Saturday night, woke up, and it was completely gone. Crazy shit. <laughs> but anyway, um, <clears throat> that was week eight. Now, week nine is my opener. So what I did, and I actually forgot. I got so much stuff on my mind. So um, I warmed up, and I went uh, 425 again for three, thinking I had threes again. And then I went 455 for three. Um, and I hit that and I realized, oh shit, I'm supposed to do singles or I'm supposed to do my opener, actually, not singles, but my opener. Um, so I went ahead, went 505 and um, that was a big struggle. I actually uh, was assisted in that lift, okay? So um, um, it is what it is. Uh, it's practically a workout and um, I'll be fine. I'll be fine once the meet come. Um, uh, for my bench openers, I warmed up pretty good, and I went to 275, and I hit that for a um, for a good pulse rep. And then um, for deadlifts, I went up to 550 and hit that pretty damn smooth. So um, I'm gonna rest up uh, this week, um, and I fly out this Thursday on the 24th to uh, San Jose for Boss of Bosses. And uh, my whole plan is to get on a platform and enjoy. I'm not trying to break any records, and I'm not trying to win. I want the experience. I want to hang out with, with the people that I don't get to see often. And um, when I get back from this meet, hopefully this meet is a success. And what a success for me for this meet is um, my hips does not bother me um, uh, from lift to lift because the last few meets I did last year, that's what actually kept me from hitting 
big numbers or numbers that I expected I, sh I should have hit um, from each, from squat to bench. Um, my lower back was so overused because of having spasms because of my hips being tilted and, and, and off balance. Um, it really took out of my squat, really took out of my bench, and really took out of my deadlift. So um, what this meet is, is filling that out, see how my body reacts with all three lifts, you know, uh, and all nine actual lifts, you know, back to back. So um, what I'm gonna do is probably do um, two more smaller full meets, and um, um, this year in the beginning of uh, next year, I know I got a um, deadlift meet only coming here in um, November. It's a Worlds, uh, Wobble Worlds, so I'm gonna do that as well. But um, all I'm doing is getting back on the platform on the regular, so I can fill it out again. And um, once I do that, and my training numbers are back where they were a few from uh, where they were a few years ago, I'm going to come back and uh, push that 132 all-time world record up along with that squat as well. So um, that's the conclusion of this training cycle. I will do this again and um, so y'all can see the process as I get deeper and deeper into training once again. Um, so y'all stay tuned. Y'all have a good day. Hope y'all enjoy the eclipse. I didn't actually get to see it. So um, see y'all guys later. I'm out.